Talk about compromise. I'll be reading this for you today. Joe, we have to make an edible meal. I like steak and fries. How do you feel? Lynn, you always choose meat and potatoes. What about vegetables or beans and tomatoes? I'll eat whatever you want to cook, Joe. Let's just decide. I've got places to go. Our parents only eat what they think is tasty. We all must endorse it. So Lynn, don't be hasty. The food is the fuel that keeps us alive. I'm not that picky. I eat to survive. Nourishment should be our primary goal. Still, eating good food is within our control. That is an admirable viewpoint to take, but let's think of something that's easy to make. Mom wants roast beef and dad craves stew, or we could try to create something new. It's getting late, we have to mobilize. How about a casserole as a good compromise? Good, then we can accommodate everyone's wishes. Plus, we won't have to wash so many dishes. Much better than having our ideas compete. Let's work as a team so we can eat. Okay, Lynn, you were the brains in this deal. Let's work together and make a good meal. Now, after reading this poem, your constructed response says, analyze how the author's word choice impacts the tone of the poem. Be sure to use details from the poem to support your response. Type your response in the space provided. Now, Please remember, word choice is what the author chooses, the words that they choose to use, okay? So if you think back, the entire poem, it may have rhyme. Um, it used words such as compromise, which is in the title. So just think about word choice. Um, were they being humorous? And tone, please remember, tone is how the author feels, okay? So please make sure to include that in your constructive response. Cite twice. We're looking for one rich paragraph. If you have any questions, please email me or comment within Google Classroom or Canvas. Thank you.